Hey, what is going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life and the crazy life of the digital, the digital asset space. Wow, the market is doing what the market does. Interesting stuff, some very interesting stuff coming from Jack uh, Dorsey. Hmm. He's not excited about the alleged Web3 from Ethereum. <laughs> yeah, JP Morgan coin. That dude, um, uh, Stefan Huber, breaking some really, really anti AIG. Those guys have been on it. Yeah, Joseph Rubin consensus, Ethereum, the ETH gate, it's just getting worse and worse and worse. And then, like, you got to think about what Jeremy Hogan did earlier today. Like, why is Gillibrand and freaking, oh, well, it was Gillibrand. Why is she talking about something that happened with the, an agreement on Ethereum being a commodity? Publicly, not a great look. When you can't get hashtag Gary Gensler is not your friend to say this is a security or that's not a security. How are they able to get something behind closed doors? Backdoor deals, if you would. Very John Deaton is in the in the news as well. I think we're going to cover something from John, but I tell you what, this thing from Stefan Huber um, is really really interesting. Procoin news, hmm. Not happy with Procoin news right now. I hope that they're not. That uh, I hope they are are better. I hope that they are better than most of the crypto. Um, news, um, if you will, outlets, crypto news spots. I hope that they're better because what they're doing for Celsius Network is not a great look. We're going to get into that as well. So guys, make sure you stay tuned until the freaking end. Listen, guys, this is your XRP Ripple Daily News in around <laughs> zero to 10 freaking minutes. The market is doing what the market does. The Bitcoin dominance is just what is it, 45.6%, that's not a great number. The total cryptocurrency market cap is down from over 3 trillion to 1.15 trillion, down 7.5% in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin is at $27,639 again. Ethereum is at $1,472. Again, someone told me it hasn't below Hasn't been below 1500 since 2020, um, sometime in early 2021. XRP is at 34.6 cents again. Double figure reds in the market. I just combined today. Interesting. Double figure reds all over the place, guys. The market, it's brutal. It is absolutely freaking brutal. I should have took the mind. Stuff when I wanted to, like three days ago, I was going to make a move into XLM. Now I will not be able to do it. I mean, just crazy <laughs> numbers going on in this market. Double figure reds everywhere. It's just a very, 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 very challenging and difficult time for sure. Wow. Just the market's just red all over the freaking place. This is what I was saying with Jeremy Hogan said this. It's important to pay attention to it. We're going to get into Stefan Huber's thing because uh, I think it's massively important. Let's, my computer tends to put tabs to sleep when they're, not, when they're not used. So forgive me, it's going to be just a freaking second. Guys, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. That really, really does help with the algorithm on YouTube. We have to break that algorithm. We have to break it because it is broken when it comes to this channel. Jeremy Hogan put this out. I would certainly like someone to ask Senator Gillibrand when and how Chair Gensler told her that Ether would be certainly commodities. And maybe someone could ask Chair Gensler if that is true. That would be news for me. He tagged Ellen Parrott, right? Because most cryptocurrencies go to the ETH. Go to the SEC, excuse me. This is a quote from Senator Gilbrad. Bitcoin and Ether would be certainly would be certainly commodities. And that's agreed upon. That's agreed with Chairman Gensler as well as the chairman of the CFTC. That's just not a freaking great look. Because again, 
we can't get Gary Gensler to say anything uh, in, in, in kind of give clarification on Ethereum publicly. How is he doing it privately? I guess that's what you're used to doing, doing things privately when you weren't publicly elected, but but rather privately selected. That is interesting stuff. Just, I mean, whoa, what in the wide world? Great catch from Jeremy Hogan to kind of catch that. I know I had covered, like I was like, I was I did a video or two. I'm like, how is it that Ethereum just gets the gets the blessing as a commodity like that? And I didn't even think. I didn't even think to, um, um, you know, reference Gensler and the fact that Gil and Brad did something publicly. I didn't even think. That's very, very interesting. This is what's stuff from Stefan Huber, and I just look, look. It's not a great look. Oh, boy, I'm digging into the newly surfaced SEC filings with consensus. And I can tell you one thing, it's bad. We have always been right. Dozens and dozens and dozens of sham companies, sham companies, all registered with and rejected by the SEC at the same time. Consensus. Entries in Horowitz, Galaxy Digital, Goldman's, all investing in the same quote unquote sham companies at the same time. As though it was a matter of investing, filing, having it denied so they can get the money in and out of it. Dozens and dozens of SEC and FINRA registered consensus token foundry ICOs. Stefan Huber goes on to say, Texas Holy Smokers. That was the name of one of the companies. Pure arrogance and the mistaken belief that it will never come out. Listen to this one, guys. They are all the same, submitted on the same day by the same people and rejected on the same day. That's some quick work for the SEC. I mean, they must have nothing to do that the sham companies can file these, uh, these filings real, real quick. And man, the SEC just right away, just the same day. Wow, how is that possible? How could you look into it so thorough? That literally the same day that is filed is projected. His thesis, says Stefan Huber. My thesis, Ethereum consensus Lubin got the free pass on the condition, on the condition to give away part of the cake. This is in line with the accusations made to their parent company here in ZUG. Mm -mm -mm. Los Angeles Drive Inc. filed with the commission an offering statement to qualify and offering of securities on the section of the securities. The offering statement has been on file for more than nine months and has, yet been, and, and has not yet been qualified. In view of the foregoing, it is ordered that the offering statement be declared abandoned. Well, I don't know what that is about there, but since neither Luber nor Consensus could ever admit that they that they have that much Ethereum, and the values must still be somehow contractual defeat the, I don't know if that's defensible or defeasible, and bindingly transferred. They have distributed the Ethereum to the incumbent politicians and banks via these ICOs. Slant token projects. This is Stefan Huber's thinking. Just ask yourself, why Goldman Sachs, UBS, Union Square Ventures, Wells Fargo and A16 are investing together in companies called 
Texas Holy Smokers and Sin City Bad Babies. Explain that. Of course, Scott, of course, Stefan and TIG, they are on it all at the same time in the same company. I'm what? All at the same time in the same companies? All at the same time. Sin City Bad Babies Inc. Los Angeles Drive. Los Angeles Drive Inc. Los Angeles Drive, Inc. Goldman's, A16, Zulu, Andreessen Horowitz, Consensus, UBS, invested in Los Angeles Drive, Inc. Texas Holy Smokers, Inc. And uh, Denver Mogoth, Inc. Same day filings, look. Consensus, 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 consensus. Galaxy Digital, Galaxy Digital, Galaxy Digital, Galaxy Digital. Andreessen Horowitz, Andreessen Horowitz. It's more consensus. Coinbase even had one in there. Mm. All at the same time. Submit it, reject it, submit it, reject it. Mm. That, my friends, is pretty, wow. I mean, this is an absolute, if this, oh my gosh. I'm digging into the newly surfaced SEC filings with consensus, and I can tell you one thing, it's bad. We have always been right. Dozens and dozens of sham companies, dozens and dozens, all registered with and rejected by the SEC at the same time. Consensus, Andreessen Horowitz Company, um, and Consensus, Galaxy Digital, Goldman's. Dozens and dozens, SEC, Fenner Registered Consensus, Token, Foundry, ICOs. Wow. It says here, they're all the same, submitted on the same day by the same people and rejected on the same day. Just not a great look. And that's the challenge. When you decide to hook up with JP Morgan, <laughs> Oh man, not that Lubin was a you know some upstanding dude anyway, but when you decide to hook up with Lubin, that's what the, look, this is what these guys do. They try to hook up together and put a creative monopoly together. That's why there is no divulging, none, not a zero, zero transparency on the Ethereum wallets and who holds how much Ethereum. And, they, and, and Stefan's right. They thought they would not get caught. They thought they would not get dusted. And now because it's JP Morgan, it's a lot of buying off going on, right? And a lot of people in the pocket because, I mean, it just happens to be, you know, one of the largest banks in the entire world. Institutional investors put something I find to be very, very interesting. And Linda P. Jones actually responded to the tweet. This is not price prediction. XRP is going to hit $1,000 because our people are using private XRP ledger. And right now, XRP is trading at the price level of 1000 You will see it after the lawsuit ends. You will see XRP price glitch in the month of July. Well, we all know we've seen them before. So they could be just testing it, and that's why it's a price glitch. But it doesn't mean that it's going to be that price, right? We'll see another price glitch 
He's not saying that we'll see that. That's not going to be the price of SKP. That's not what he's saying. <laughs> All right. So ProCoin News. This is a little disheartening for me. I know there's some YouTubers who like to promote ProCoin News. And I'm hoping that I'm hoping that they're backing up this stuff with facts and not just getting on crypto Twitter and falling and hopping on the FUD train. So what's going on right now in Celsius Network is very, it's a very, very common thing in Wall Street. When 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 you get a few people and probably, you know, probably people like BlockFi are behind it. Probably. I can't say for sure. And what they're doing, you know, when if 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 um, to try to get rid of the competition, competition, they start these FUDs. Maybe they sense a little weakness. I don't know what it is, but and then they they come together collectively to try to short the asset, which is going on right, which is probably going on right now with the sell token from seven to something bucks or so. It's less than 30 cents, I think, right now. Right. But in order to make it work. They got to create the FUD to get a lot of people who have deposited their assets on the platform to come off of it and start this rampage, right? So I'm hoping that ProCoin News has its crap together and is just not jumping on the FUD bandwagon. You can't begin to join in the FUD bandwagon just because people weren't able to log in. People could, That could be a problem at any time for any platform. Where's the FUD on Coinbase? Where's, where's the insolvency talks about Coinbase? Do you know how many times Coinbase goes down on a run? You can't get access to your stuff? I ask you, ProCoin News, where's that FUD? This is not cool. I hope that you're not just jumping on the band, the FUD bandwagon and to, you know, Referencing this mic, guys, just it's brutal. Alice Machinsky goes on to say, don't create FUD. It's an external vendor issue. Will be resolved soon. If it works for most people, it's not a Celsius issue. I log into Celsius every single day, every single day. I've never had a problem logging into Celsius. I've never had a problem ever, 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 ever logging in or, or taking my money out of Celsius ever. Never have a problem taking. If I have a log I issue, it's because of my either my freaking biometrics, <laughs> right? Which is usually what the issue is. So it's, it's an app issue. It's not Celsius. So this is not good. And I've never had an issue trying to withdraw. This is just not great. And the reason why I say that is ProCoin News just seems to uh, want to add on to this, right? It, uh, like the several tweets, they begin to tweet referencing someone saying something. And I would hope that ProCoin News would be like above that. Let me go back here. It's not a, just not a great look. Not a great freaking look. Now it's, I don't know why I can't find it now, but it was like five or six different tweets from ProCoin News. Because I, I read a bunch of people saying, I, you know, I was able to log in. I had no problem logging in. I found a bunch of people saying that. So I'm hoping that ProCoin News is going to get it together. And they got some facts behind this and not just jumping on the, the FUD. You know, when, he, when these calculated things begin to happen, these calculated attacks where they try to short sell and try to drive your company into the ground. Hmm. I hope the ProCoin News is above that. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I saw like five to six kind of tweets um, in succession from ProCoin News. And 
I I hope that they're above that, not falling. Uh, falling for that. Hmm. Divi. Divi. Ah. Now, Divi, I know that uh, Bitcoin Ben, is it Bitcoin? Yeah, Bitcoin Ben was a big Divi promoter back in the day, big time, like ambassador, promoter, probably partnered. I'm going to leave it at that. I am going to leave it at that. <sighs> That's just, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Who, who's behind ProCoin News? I don't know. I do find it very, very odd that um, there were YouTubers uh, who never mentioned a peak one time interview. That was it, never mentioned Celsius Network ever again. I find that odd considering how amazing the Celsius Network Alice Mashinsky has been to this space. There would be no ETH 2.0 in my humble opinion without Celsius because they, they weren't able to get enough of the ETH to, 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 to to make it happen, to even begin to do it. Ah, uh, library says, this is an absolute lie. We have begged the SEC to answer questions or give us any feedback. They never answered a single question or gave us any steps we could take to correct anything. They did use voluntary given evidence to sue us, they have here in all parentheses, do not talk to the SEC. Yeah, Mark Phillips caught something. I didn't catch it, but this is a good catch, Mark Phillips. I hope you're well, bro. Be the responsible, uh, uh, he says here, reference the Responsible Financial Innovation Act. I hope Ripple is one of the two presidentially appointed FinTech industry members on the advisory committee on financial innovation specified in 809B1A. It's not clear. He said, it's now clear. We can't rely on the quote unquote industry groups to be inclusive. Hmm, well, if you're talking about blockchain association, digital chamber of commerce, one of these, and one of those that are said to this is a very, very interesting. Silver is triple seven put this out here. All right, look, I don't know where this is. Hold on. It says the Western Bay. I don't know where this is, but anyway, this says this truck is in front of the SEC building in downtown Los Angeles on Flower Street. Let me start this from the beginning. SEC does not protect retail traders, it says on this truck. Got a little flashing thing video on here. SEC is complicit. Wall Street corruption. About C handle. It's Gary for the people with a question mark. heart. Connect the conflicts of interest. Citadel, Citadel, Citadel Securities. Get educated. Let's hear it. SEC is complicit to spend our tools now. SEC is complicit. Market manipulation is not. This truck apparently is in front of the SEC building in Los Angeles. Complex of interest here. Not that is really, really, <laughs> really, really interesting. Truck parked out in front. SCC. Yeah, that's just not a great look. And Jack Dorsey is actually kind of signing off on all the work that everyone, a lot of people in this community have done, especially with Stefan Huber and TAI have recently done, uh, TAIG, 
have recently done. Jack Dorsey, formerly of Twitter. <laughs> this will be likely our most important contribution to the internet. Proud of the team. He says, rest in peace, Web3 VCs. Remember, the whole, we, we all know now, Ethereum is JP Morgan. Question. Jack, what makes Web3, from your perspective, not decentralized enough that you believe there needed to be this next stage via what you're calling Web5? Jack Dorsey says, it's based on single uh, point of failure systems, in parentheses, Ethan Solano, and lies being told to people about who owns and controls it. Now, I had always heard that about Solano. Solana, got Solano there. <laughs> I've always heard about Solana being very, very heavily VC op um, owned and operated and ran. We all know, of course, we don't. This is the XLP to me, Army. We all know that Ethereum essentially is JP Morgan. All right, guys, look, that wraps up the XRP Ripple daily news in around zero to 10 minutes. Shout out to Stefan Huber, I got to tell you. TAIG, boy, I got to tell you, that is an excellent find. I mean, sham investing all in sham companies. How in the world is it possible to, to file one day and on the same day get it rejected? In other words, you don't want that kind of sham stuff staying on the books day after day and week after week and month after month, right? You want to get that off the books at least as soon as possible, right? Quote, unquote, off the books. <laughs> Quote, unquote, off the books. You, you can't hide from the XRP armies. You can't hide from the XRP army. That is for sure. All right, guys, this wraps up your this uh, wraps up your XRP Ripple Daily News in around zero to 10 minutes. I hope it has been of value to you. I'm going to end this video like I do all my videos and remind you guys of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather that we remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought, and the victory is yours. Go get it.